Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, Aaron here and talking about Lego Masters uh, in Australia. Season 3 has just finished and people have been asking me uh, my thoughts. Um, not only about the show but why I haven't ended up on the show. So uh, I'm going to do my best to explain that um, this evening. And um, But before I do, firstly, um, for those who do regularly uh, tune into my channel, you're probably noticing that I'm in front of the camera this time, so stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit here. And uh, I just wanted to say a really big thank you to the 300 odd people who have subscribed to my channel. That does mean a lot, thank you. So Lego Masters uh, has just finished its season three uh, in Australia and um, look to be honest with you I have really enjoyed watching all three seasons so far. Um, it first started in 2019 in Australia and when I first heard about it I thought oh you know it's just reality TV. I cannot stand reality TV you know the Master Chef and you know those house reno shows um just absolute crap if you ask me it's just dramatized nonsense um but anyway um so i was a bit skeptical when i first uh tuned in or watched um the first season of lego masters but i was pleasantly surprised the teams are um certainly seem very supportive of each other you know it's not this sort of dog eat dog real high competitive sort of um atmosphere and uh yeah, I was I was just really quite impressed. The builds that people have um, done, the contestants, are, are just amazing, uh, in my opinion. To be able to go on to um, a television show that's going to be aired across Australia and build under the pressure, the time limit, you know, the cameras, all that sort of thing, knowing it's going to be broadcast uh, across Australia to a rather critical sort of audience, um, is I really just take my hat off to the contestants, all of them who have done that. Um, it's certainly not my cup of tea and I'm obviously going to talk in a minute about why I haven't gone on the show or at least tried to get on the show even if I was to apply. There's no guarantee that I would uh, be successful in getting on. Um, yeah, but look, some of these builds, I'm going to th throw a few pictures up, you know, are just incredible. Um, if we, you know, look at the detail in them, um, you know, people have been building faces with emotion. They've been building lots of curved things. Um, the the technical side of things is just amazing. I'm only really good at probably just, you know, making something turn. Um, you know, there's a few other sort of techniques that I can do, but you know, these people, the contestants, have really just taken it to next level. So um, yeah, I, as I said, I just really do take my hat off. Um, to them. As some people have uh, talked about or have mentioned that there should be more than one judge. Personally, I don't think so. Ryan McNaught is the judge. He's, I think, Australia's only Lego certified builder or something like that. And um, I, have, I have met him a couple of occasions. Uh, very nice bloke, very supportive of the uh, Lego community and um, yeah I, I don't think there should be any more than than one judge it's Lego for crying out loud it's not the bloody Olympic Games for goodness sake so um, that's my thoughts anyway on the judging and to be honest I would not like to have Ryan's job I mean like I said these builds are absolutely uh, unreal they're mind-blowing I like how he does become um, you know he shows his emotion uh, when he has to eliminate people off, that's not an easy thing to do, especially given their builds have been all at such an uh, awesome level. So to answer that question, why I haven't entered, there's there's a few reasons why, and I think probably the, the number one reason why is uh, Lego for me um, is about relaxa re relaxation and escaping from the real world, um, escaping from reality, I guess. Um, my week, you know, during the week I work as a social worker, um, you know, I've got a pretty intense caseload, um, you know, there's complex situations to be dealing with all the time, um, there's all those sorts of things. Often I feel I'm, you know, I have very limited control over, over situations, uh, what the tide's going to wash in any given day, it's all very unpredictable. 
um, and can be quite stressful. So coming home and spending time here in the Lego room, building something, um, even if it's something you know nobody ever sees, building with my son, um, you know that you know that's that's what Lego is to me. So to go on a TV show where you know suddenly I'm, you know, sort of being forced to build under pressure, um, time limits, cameras on me, you know, it, that's just not really for me. Um, I have certainly thought about it, and you know, probably after maybe you know some practice, I probably could, I probably could put, you know, do something, build something half decent. But um, yeah, generally, like I said, you know, Lego is about relaxation for me. Uh, the other reason uh, is probably around uh, the fact that I'd have to be away from my family for about a good three months or so. I'm in Perth. The show's filmed in Melbourne. Um, so it's a little bit tricky and the cost obviously involved in that although I probably could afford to take three months off work and I've got to pay for accommodation food all that sort of thing uh, you know my savings is there for a rainy day Lego Masters is not a rainy day and um, although people would say well you can win a hundred thousand dollars well I could win a hundred thousand dollars fifty thousand of it's going to go to you know who are teams up with me so I'm only going to get half that if if I if I won um, you know I would be doing it obviously just for just for a challenge really and and that is something you know you you know um, to challenge yourself in anything that you do is it can be good um, I guess my only slight you know criticism if you can call it that uh, would be on my worry about the show is you know for new builders who who watch this show and you know see all this high-end high-level stuff um, people being quite critical about builds you know it can put people off building a little bit in my view if um, if they're taking this on board my advice always is to just build what you want to build uh, have fun building uh, you know and yeah you know that's what it's there for it's there for fun it's there for relaxation and um, yeah, Lego Masters is competitive. It's a it's a TV show. It's um, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, but there's you know lots of things I've learnt from it, and it has been uh, very enjoyable to watch. Like I said, I really take my hat off to the contestants who have gone on, and um, you know they're much braver than me, and uh, it has been just in you know a pleasure to to um, to watch them and yeah. I think that's pretty much it. That's my thoughts on Lego Masters. That's the reasons why I'm um, I've not <laughs> entered to go on. Thanks so much for watching, and we're gonna have another video up pretty soon, showing my uh, talking about my next build. So, thanks so much again. See you later.